There we go. A little Tonala bunny rabbit for $1.99. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. All right, well we are back at Antiques Marketplace of Le Moyne today. We've only got 30 minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes until they close, so probably 15, 20 minutes to shop. We're gonna make the best of it, and we're gonna hopefully find some goodies that we can buy and flip for a profit, so here we go. All right, well, I don't venture into this booth very often, but I had a few things catch my eye. We've got a marigold carnival glass vase there. That's kind of tiny. Hmm. I like the tiny ones for some reason. And then over here is actually what I noticed, not the corning, which is only $10 and 95 cents on eBay it's like 10 grand but here we've got this plate it looks to be Sid and Stricker to me it's a beautiful blue fused glass see any markings on it but it's ten dollars and 95 cents and I think I'll take that with me let's see what else we can find this is pretty it's got lots of cane. Um, blue paperweight. It's a beautiful paperweight. I love it. They've got $19 on it. I don't suspect that it's Murano, but it is, it is a nice paperweight. I love that blue contrasted with the red. Right. Checking over these shelves. they got a little... Poisoné style bell there. This little girl is very sweet. She might just not be wound. Well, there were a few booths here the other day that I didn't have the time to look through. So this was one of them. And we have found some really nice pieces in here in the past. Look at these horns. I, ha I still have the owl one at the shop. I need to uh, move along. And over here, oh, that Jim Shore kitty I think was here the last time. She's very sweet looking. Is she Germany? No, she's Japan. She's $34. So she's about full retail. Santa here. We saw one of these the other day at Goodwill, but unfortunately his nose was broken. This little guy caught my eye as I was walking by. He's like a little chenille figurine. Ten dollars. Ah! They're jumping off the tree. <laughs> Take me home with you. <laughs> oh goodness. I don't know where to put this one. Stick him right there. Please stay. All right, this guy, I think we'll grab him for $10. He's adorable. Got some knee huggers here, and I love these trees. Um, I believe she actually makes these trees. Um, these are Martha Washington coverlets, I think are what those are called. Maybe popcorn blankets, <laughs> something like that. Um, but that's really neat. I love these trees. I remember seeing them last year when she had them displayed. Little girl figurine here. Her flower seems to be intact. Oh, she's a Joseph Originals. I actually didn't expect that. See what the price is on that. Twelve dollars. Angel and peach dress made in Korea. We've had pretty good luck with Joseph original pieces. She's very darling. Her th thumb looks a little wonky, but I don't think it's broken. So we will take her as well. And then over here, I noticed this glass bowl for. $18. I don't know if that's a Viking per se. 
But I think these two pieces are great. So we will take those with us. Oh my goodness, look at those little croc trays. Two little mice. $12 each, and this booth is 25% off. I think we need two croc trays. So let's grab those, shall we? Now, even though we were just here the other day, I still want to browse through this booth because I got that amazing cat and that great piece of Fenton out of here. I really love this vase. It's $90. I believe it's a galley reproduction. I was absolutely obsessed with it the other day because it has bats on it. <laughs> um, it is 25% off. I would, uh, if I was to sell that, I would sell that as a cameo vase and uh, not galley because it's uh, likely a reproduction. There's a lot of galley reproductions, but I have never seen a reproduction with bats on it before. So that is a first for me. A lot of the times there's the reproductions of fish and I've seen them with flowers and I see those over and over again, but never with bats. Here we are at Becky's booth. And I don't think we had the opportunity to uh, peek through here the last time either. He looks like a jolly Santa Claus. She's got her winking Santas there. What else do we have? Some nice little figurines. Hat pin holder. A little elf there. Oh my gosh, look at this spaghetti dog. She's got $20 on that. It is 20% off. That's a pretty good price for those. I know because I used to collect them. <laughs> little toucan pitcher. She's got her lady head vase in here. And she's also got some fairy lights. For $79 a piece. 20% off. I have never seen this design before with the clear base and the melt glass top. Up here, this one is Fenton. I do believe. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I take back what I said. <laughs> Looks like Fenton. I've spotted this vase here. I'm sorry, this pitcher. And um, it kind of reminds me of the um, Dalton Burslem that has that tapestry texture to it. Uh, it is $48, so I don't think there's really enough room there for me to buy it and make a profit on it, but I like, I like the design of it. I love the flowers. This is JT's booth. He's usually got really nice things. Can't always make a profit on them, but I do love looking. Look at that baby back there. <laughs> All right. Well, I came back to this booth to check one more time and I noticed this back here. Isn't that interesting? Um, surreal clay box sculpture signed and dated. Look at the design. Even the face has really nice detail. Otherwise, it's kind of a crude piece. Um, it's $25. 25% off. What is this guy? Green, blue art glass. Hmm. I feel like I've seen that before. It kind of has a pulled feather design. Right, well, um, I think I'm going to take this box up front and then get a key for that bat vase. And then I think we might be calling it quits. I told you I was going to be a short one today. Let's see here. It's got bats on it. <laughs> There's the galley signature, but it is a reproduction. 90 bucks, 25% off. I think I'll take that. Can I hand this to you? Because there's one other thing I want to look at down here. 
this is a nice piece. $60. It is signed on the bottom. And Glass Eye Studio. I love those stars, so I think we'll do that one as well. And then one more piece, and then I promise I'll let you shut it. It's this one right here. That one is turned upside down. Let's see here. This one is $80. <laughs> kind of like the stones on there. Not seeing any markings though. Does it say sterling? Heavy sterling bracelet, $80. I'm just not sure about that, so I will leave that one behind, but I think I will take the paperweight and then, oh, sorry, let me just, see, now that you have it open, I'm like, well, I could get this and that. No, it's not signed. It's a pretty vase, though, and it's 45. Oh, it is signed? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's very faint. Um, I'll take that as well. All right. This little girl is adorable. Oh, and she's a bell for $6. Um, it says, Bell of Wednesday. That's the only day that you can ring this bell is on Wednesdays. Unfortunately, I did just notice she's got a little chip on her flower. Otherwise, I would be taking her home with me. What is this down here? Never worn. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, it's a moss. Oh, that's so cool. Well, as you heard on the announcement, they're closing in 10 minutes. Uh, so I'm going to give this about another five, and then we're going to head up to the checkout. We've only got a few things up there right now. Little porcelain bowl. Varia. Right, while they're checking me out, I'm over here eyeing up all the goodies. We're actually decorating the Christmas tree at my parents' tonight. And I think maybe I'm going to bring some peanut butter fudge with me. It's only 210 calories per serving. <laughs> so we'll add that to our stuff. All right, well, they are currently uh, ringing up all my things. I figured I'd do a little bit more shopping while I wait. Souvenir Matador doll. It's actually pretty well made. What do we have in the jewelry? It's been a while since I bought jewelry. Zoe has some really nice pieces. Okay, well our total spend here at Lemoyne this evening was $221. You can see that it is dark now. But it's actually really nice outside. It's 65 degrees. A little breezy feels really nice. <laughs> it's not cold. Um, I think I might swing in at the Goodwill real quick on my way home um, because it is on the way. And uh, then I uh, head off to my parents to decorate the Christmas tree. So let's go to Goodwill and see what we can find. All right, so we are at the Lemoyne Goodwill. What do we have here? Little um, Basset Hounds, maybe. $1.99. I wonder what they're actually for because they're not shakers. But they have tails. It's kind of confusing to me. I like them, but uh, I think I'll pass on those guys. Let's see what else we can find. There's a lot of people in here, you know, the after work crowd. Um, so hopefully we find something. Got an art glass vase here. I think it actually may have been a perfume bottle because it's ground on the inside, so there would have been a stopper. There we go. A little Tonala bunny rabbit for $1.99. I'll take that. We don't really see very many bunnies. We see a lot of birds. Is that Lennox? No, it's Charming Personalities. <laughs> Looks kind of like the Lennox stuff. What are these? Little. These are... Priscilla Hillman, Inesco. That's what these probably are as well. Somebody's collection. I think I'm going to buy this for my mother. 
kind of reminds me of Duke or Black and Tan that passed away <laughs> not too long ago. So um, she has been wanting another dog. And in the meantime, I think she needs this little figurine. Got some Pyrex. I think this is American pattern. $2.99 on that piece. $3.99 on that piece. I feel like this is one of the more or the less desirable patterns, but it's in really good condition. It doesn't appear to have gone through the dishwasher very many times. Um, I think I'll grab those. They have their lids on them. Alright. This looks like it could be Israeli glass. $1.99. I don't see any markings on it. I believe they usually have stickers, though. It's kind of that watercolor look to it. Um, it's only $1.99. Ours hasn't really sold that well, though. So I will leave that. Hmm. This little birdie has pegs in his feet. He's extremely heavy. I'm kind of curious what he would go to. I don't really see anything on the shelf that correlates. Maybe we'll stick him in our cart for now. Well, that is a great piece. That definitely looks like a Basset Hound. Yeah, it actually says Basset Hound. Basset Hound. $2.99. This one over here is a Dachshund. It's signed Kime, I think. 25 out of 500. Those are really neat looking. And I love, actually, now that I'm looking at it, it's completely made of words. The entire thing. Um... This one is signed, and this one is not. But we might grab those. If we don't sell them on eBay, um, they might become booth pieces. I keep saying I'm not going to buy any more artwork, and then I find something like this. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I think I need that. That looks like it could be an older piece. I suspect it probably had a fishbowl attached to it. Um, Hager makes a lot of these. This one strikes me as possibly... I don't know, maybe American Bisque? I'm not exactly sure. There's no signatures on the inside. It's $3.99. Um, you could probably put your own little fish bowl on that. Let's stick that in there. And then this, what is this? There's no markings on it. $25. I know I've seen this before. You can see there's a signature. It looks like Lisa. Lisa painted this. <laughs> Like somebody painted their cat with a jeweled collar. <laughs> That's pretty fancy. I've got a very colorful Kokeshi. Probably contemporary. That's made from pottery. I actually was expecting that to be plastic. Um, this is my last stop here going through the Christmas section. Not seeing much though. And over here we've got more Christmas. I skipped this aisle when I first came in. There's a little stocking here. Alright. Oh my goodness, what in the world is that? That's a little bit terrifying. And you hang it on your wall. And then Santa's watching and he knows if you've been good or bad. Right? Am I right? Look at that. That is so creepy. But somebody obviously bought it because they thought it was a good idea. Or it was a gift to somebody who later donated it to the Goodwill. That's cashmere. I like the floral on that. Mm -hmm. um, they've got $1.99. I mean, these aren't like huge sellers, but they sell pretty good. I think I'm going to pass on it today, though. We've already got some stuff in our cart. And I think we're going to head towards the exit. All right. Our total spend there at the Goodwill was $19. I feel like we got some pretty decent pieces there. I was actually surprised. I figured since we were going there later in the evening, um, it would be kind of a slim pickings. But uh, we got the two Pyrex pieces. You don't often find Pyrex in the Goodwill. So that was surprising. Even though they weren't the most desirable pieces. Um, it was still Pyrex and in good condition. That was a little tonella guy. And that bird, that bird is like super heavy. And I just, I don't know if you would put him in a planter or whatnot. I have no idea what his purpose is, but I bought him anyway. I'll figure it out later. <laughs>
<laughs> so anyway, I am heading to my parents now. We are going to do a little bit of decorating of the tree. Um, I bought some desserts because I don't make desserts. I bought them. They're going to be delicious. So anyway, I will, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.